Hi, I'm Ben with Suck It. And in this video, we'll be opening the Pro Kit Suck It Dust Boot for your Shea Poco 3. Carefully cut open the box and remove the packaging. You'll find the instructions and hardware inside a plastic bag. Set those aside. Next, remove the actual dust boot. This is a prototype version, and the version you receive should be crystal clear. Notice it's not 3D printed, it's actually injection molded. Next, remove the left hand and the right hand mount. This is the heavier package. These are made from steel. Finally, you'll find the 1 inch and 1.5 inch brushes. We find the 1.5 is actually the sweet spot. Here's everything you'll receive in the kit. The left and right hand mounts, the two different size brushes, the instructions with our website, an instruction pamphlet, depth stickers that go on the arm mounts, two logo stickers, magnetically hinged rear clip for better suction, extra set of height adjustment locks, spacers for the mount, two different size silver bolts along with allen keys, two sets of screws for mounting hardware, two adjustable shoe side mounts, the round hole plates, two one inch diameters and one two inch diameter for different size bits. And that is the complete package. Now let's install it. Our first step is to install the round hole plate of our choice. We're gonna get the four smaller silver screws and flip the dust boot over. I'm choosing the one inch to install. We're gonna locate the three holes and line those up. We'll install this in the one closest to the front of the dust shoe. We'll take the round hole plate, align the three holes up, and slide that into the back bolt we just installed. We'll get the next two bolts and install those. Be careful not to over tighten at this point as you could snap the plastic. You just want a good snug fit. Now locate the four silver bolts and the medium hex key. We're going to be installing the adjustable shoe slide mounts. You'll notice that one side has a groove and one side is flush. Insert the silver bolts into the groove side to where the head is flush with the mount. Turning it on its side, you'll notice there are three holes. We're going to be using the front two holes closest to the dust port. You want to leave these a tad bit loose so you can adjust them so either side will be exactly the same. You're almost to the very back of the square mounting arm. Now you can tighten down the bolts, making sure not to over tighten as you could crack the plastic. Repeat the process on the other side, making sure to mirror the first mount we just installed. Now it's time to install the brushes. You notice when I twist this brush, one end 
fans out. If I twist it the other way, it fans in. Make sure to fan in when you're placing it into the dust boot. Place one edge of the brush into the groove for the brush on the dust boot. Follow along that line by pushing in, making sure that each part before it is into the groove. It's a friction fit and should be placed all the way into the groove. Since I'm going to be using the low profile oops clamps, I'm installing the one inch brush. If you're worried about clearance or have higher profile clamps, the 1.5 inch may be a better option. Finally, locate the magnetically hinged rear clip. Place that on the magnets, and you've now completed your dust boot. Now we'll install the depth height stickers on the steel mounts. First, we'll remove the arms. Just unscrew these bolts. The arm will pop out, and we'll remove the back piece. Now we'll lay that flat on the table. We'll get our stickers. We'll peel back one edge of it. Don't remove the sticker all the way. Place it and align it just right down to the bottom and slowly pull the sticker backing backwards as you slide your finger along the sticker and it should come out nice and straight. Now we'll take the mount and place the arm back on, put the screw in, place it into the front of the mount, and take the back and align it with that bolt, and just turn the screw until it engages. We'll repeat that full process for the other side. The metal arms are now complete. Now we'll move over to the Shapoko and move the gantry to the front. Do this by turning off the power, moving it slowly so you don't engage the motors. Now I'll remove the top plate to install the arms. Locate these four bolts and the corresponding Allen wrench. We'll just loosen these and remove them. Be careful removing the last bolt if you have a limit switch, as the wire will still be connected. You do not have to remove the limit switch. Now we'll get the spacers and align those on the back of the mounts. Then get the corresponding bolts and slide those through. We'll line up the plate and place the bolts through the hole. Locate the second bolt and hand tighten that one in. We'll now repeat the process on the left side. Once they're hand tightened, you want to get the Allen key and tighten these down pretty snug. Do not misplace the original bolts as you may need them in the future. Loosen the star shaped knob to raise and lower the arms to the desired height. Match this height on both sides. Be very careful not to over tighten. Finally, slide the dust boot 
into the adjustable shoe slide mounts. If you have a bit already in the machine, make sure to remove the magnetic clip and install it after you install the socket dust boot. Next, make your final height adjustments. Congratulations! You finished the installation of the Suck It Dust Boot Pro Kit.